In this video I will show you how to download and install RabbitMQ on your Windows 11 machine. For this go and open any web browser on your computer. Then in address bar type download RabbitMQ and press enter. Then click on first link pointing to official website of RabbitMQ. You can see various method for installing RabbitMQ but I will use Windows installer for installation. So under Windows section I will click on Windows installer. You can just scroll and there it is mentioned that you need Erlang to install before installing RabbitMQ. This is because RabbitMQ is built on Erlang so both needs to be installer. So click on this link. You can see current RabbitMQ does not supports Erlang 28 so I will go and install earlier version of Erlang. For this open another tab and type download Erlang and press enter. Click on this first link. As mentioned 28 cannot be installed so let's install Erlang 27 as shown here. Any 27 version is okay for now. Then click on download Windows installer and then select 64-bit version. You can see Erlang is downloading on my PC. Now let's go to previous page and click on RabbitMQ EXE page to download RabbitMQ. Wait for some time to download both of these files. Now go to the installation location and let's first install Erlang. For this double click on this OTP EXE file. Just click on next, leave destination location as it is and then click on next. Click on install button to begin installation. Click on close to complete Erlang installation. Now double click on RabbitMQ to begin installation. If you get the pop-up click on yes. Click on next to proceed. After that click on install button. Just wait for some time to complete the installation. If your RabbitMQ and Erlang is asking for firewall permission then accept it. I have already done this. Now go and run localhost 15672 which is default port to run RabbitMQ. You can see I am getting site cannot be reached so let's first install RabbitMQ management plugins. For this go do search and type RabbitMQ command and then select RabbitMQ command line from the list. Their type following RabbitMQ command. The command RabbitMQ plugins enable just toggles the plugin on. RabbitMQ loads it and exposes the management features. I have already installed so I am getting this but you must get three services installed. After doing that let's restart RabbitMQ services as shown here. After doing this let's go to localhost and press enter. Just wait for some time and you will get this login screen. Just provide guest as username and password. After that you will get this RabbitMQ dashboard. You can get current login user here. You can see here memory and disk. This two resource types that the broker uses to store messages and metadata. You can also see RabbitMQ server uptime here. Under Q section you will get Q messages sent by publisher and subscriber will consume later. Under admin you get current login user here. Also you can add new user to access RabbitMQ server from here. In this way we download and install RabbitMQ on Windows 11. Please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon so that you will not miss any update.